All right, so let's do the admin part. Okay, so for the admin part, it's very, very simple. Just a simple code over here. So um, what we are doing is that um, once you get to the admin part, uh, we're going to put over there our uh, st.status and then we put welcome to admin side. Okay, so if let me just um, upload in a, of this one over there. Okay, I'm just going to go to the admin part. Uh, maybe just let it finish running, then I'll go to the admin part. Okay, I think we can just go. Right, so the admin, let's go to admin. All right, so here you see that um, welcome to admin site. Okay, so that's the message, right? And then here, um, uh, I mean, you can comment this one, you can just open it and then give one some I mean, instructions to the user, right? So that's okay. Um, let me, you just, you can just go in on comment them, just control S. And then that is going to output this ID and password required. That is if you want to um, tell the users that they need to put their ID and password before, right? I just commented it out because I think they will be able to know, right? So let me control S. Now I see it's gone, right? So here, um, once you do that, then you come here and then you write uh, st dot input right st dot test input username right so that's the part that is creating this username um part for us okay and then i'm going to store everything in add underscore user right and i also do st dot test underscore input the same thing right but this time I, I name it as password okay so that's what you see over here right as password okay and um i mean the type is going to be password right so once I do that, I'm going to check, right, if add underscore user, that is what I mean, the first I created, the username, okay, that's the username. So if it is going to be, if the username is um, this, okay, that's the username that I created. So here you can create your own, you can put your own username, okay. If you want to add more, you can maybe add more, okay, over here. Right, you can add another if and then you just copy the same thing, okay, you just maybe if you want to add more users, okay. Right, you can just add all of the, I mean, the users over there. Okay, so maybe if um, MRBR, something like that. Okay, and then password, right? So I'm just gonna leave the password like that. So if you wanna add more users, you can also do it this way. Okay, in this case, you have to also make sure that you copy everything and then you push it, right, to make sure that it's aligned. Okay, here you have to put something like that. Okay. So I'm just going to leave it to just one user, right? I'm just going to leave it to just one user. But you can continuously add more users over there. Okay, so um, the password that I'm putting over there is this password. So it's going to check to see that this one, is the username is equal to this and, right? And the password is equal to this. So even if the username is right and the password is wrong, you're not going to be able to enter. Or if the password is right and the username is wrong, you're not going to be enter. Both of them need to be right. Okay, so once you do that, once both of them are right, then it's going to output welcome. I mean, the name of the person. So in this case, if I put the username over there, okay, and then I put the password. Now you see that it's not showing me because here I've put type equals password. So he knows that you're typing password, so it's not going to show. But if you want to see it, you can click on this. You see that it's there. Okay, and then you can close it. And then the login is this one. So here. Um, once I log in, the login is this button, okay, st.button, and then the button name is login, but you can give any name that you want, but I think login makes sense, right? Once I do that, I see that welcome, Dr. Bright is there, right? So that's basically the text that I've given you, welcome, Dr. Bright, and then um, this is the part to display it, okay? So Kesa.execute, then I'm writing an SQL query over here, right? So select so star from the user data. Okay, so let's start from the user data. So remember the user data contains all the data that we have, okay, on, on the user. So if you do that, so let's start from the user data. It's gonna select all the data for us, okay. So it's actually doing that query from that. You see that select star, okay. So let's start from the user data. It's there, right. It's preceding this one with CV because it has to go into that CV database and select the table user data, okay for us so that's once it's selected it's going to show you over here okay so it's getting this one straight away from the um your sql right you i mean your phone your database okay so once it, it does that we're going to now convert everything to a pdf format okay 
I mean, a CSV format over here so that we can download. So that's the part, the next part that I'm doing. Okay. So I'm doing, um, I mean, data, this one is Kesa.fetch all, meaning that fetch all the data that we are selecting, right? And then st.header uses data. Okay. So that's what you see over here, uses data. All right. And then I'm doing, I'm converting everything to a PDF form. So that's, that's why you're seeing it. I mean, in a data frame format. Okay. I'm converting everything to a data frame format, which I can also save. Okay. So in order to save it, I'm doing st.dataframe. Remember, I've stored everything in DF over here. So st.dataframe, right? And then I'm doing markdown, right? To get table download underscore link. So if you use this function, you'll be able to um, pass in your data frame and then you, you store it using the name that you want, okay? In this case, I'm storing it in a CSV format, all right? In a CSV format, and then I'm, giving it a name as download report. So that's why you see it here, download report, which is a form of a CSV format. So if you click on that, it's just going to download it for you, right? If I save it and then I open it, you see that it's in a SL format, okay? If I click open it, it's just going to open it, okay? Yeah, I just open it. Okay, see that this is the data that we have, okay? All the data that you have, we are able to extract all of them like that, okay? We're able to extract all of them. So that's that's, um basically it i think yeah this one all right so that's that's it now here i'm doing stuff select star from user data right that's the query and i'm putting in i'm putting the query inside pd dot read underscore sql remember this is an sql query so just like you do pd underscore read csv here you can do pd underscore read um sql okay so it's going to read everything and then this part i'm using it to actually plot it okay i need this plot underscore data okay to read i need to read all the data so that um i'll be able to plot the data because if you go here you see that i'm doing some plotting so that's the part that i'm doing i'm getting all the data so that i can plot it okay so pd underscore read underscore sql right i pass in the query which is the query which is this one so let's start from user underscore underscore data and i'm putting in connection remember this connection we created all it all the way above right this connection okay so it's connecting to the database and then performing that query for you okay connecting it to the database then it can select every data that you have in your SQL, I mean, user underscore data all right okay so once once it does that let's go all the way down um let's see where we are Okay, somewhere here, right? So we put in the query and the connection, right? So now we're going to do the pie chart, okay? We have first pie chart for predicted field recommendations. And then we have another pie chart for users experience level, okay? So we have two pie chart, one for predicted field um, skills, okay? Pie chart for predicted field recommendations. And then another one pie chart for users experience, okay? So whether the person is a fresher, intermediate or experienced, okay? And then whether the person is um, Android, web developer, data science, right? And then so on, right? And then if we, we are not able to find it, it's just going to put this thing over there for us. All right, so um, that's it. These two code are just the same thing. The only difference is that I'm changing the fields from, um, from skills to experience, okay? So here you can see that I'm doing um, plot, plot underscore data, which is the data that we have um, gotten here, right? Dot predicted fields, okay, dot unique, right? I'm plotting all the unique data points and I'm printing the label for you to see and also the values, okay? So if you go, if you hover around, you see that we have label and value, okay? Label and value over here, label and value, label and value, right? So here the label is data science, the value is nine, right? Here the label is Android development, the value is 41, okay, okay? All right, so that's that's basically what we have. So that's the first pie chart, and then the second pie chart um, is going to be the experience level, as I said. So we have plot underscore um, data dot user at user level, okay, and then here plot underscore data dot um, predicted field, okay. That's the difference that we have over there. The rest are just the same thing, right? Values, values, labels, blah blah blah, blah. and then you give it the respective title, predicted field according to the skills um, pie chart. Um, for users experience level, right? That's that's basically what you have. Okay, pie chart for users experience level. You can delete if you don't want these emojis. I mean, you can just get rid of them, right? You can just get rid of them. If you want them, you can just um, leave them, right? If you want them, you can leave them. 
right if i save it and then i log in again it's just gonna plot them right but this time you see that the titles i don't have those emojis over there right so you can just get rid of them right this one i have some star over there right let me see okay now you see that uh, i don't have the emojis there so you can just get rid of them even this ones you can get rid of them All right so that's basically the part okay so if you're able to um if you're able to log in correctly right that is if you are able to put the correct username and the correct password then uh, everything else is just going to load okay otherwise you're going to have the else message which is saying the wrong id and password okay so for instance if i come here um let me let me just refresh okay let me maybe change something over here and then uh refresh it so maybe pie chart for users experience level or maybe let me see pie chart for predicted field recommendations right so maybe let me delete the s and save it okay now let's say that i i wrongly put the password okay so let's say the the right password is supposed to be this okay the right password is supposed to be this okay so let's say i type the password wrongly to maybe i start with capital r and then b r i t and then one two three okay so this is how it looks like instead of um small b i type capital b now if i log in see what is going to happen wrong id and password provided okay so now the else part is being executed okay the else part is being run all right so that's basically it but if you're able to type the right password okay then it means that everything else here is going to be uh is going to run for you okay see so that now it's running good Right, so that's that's basically all you need to do. Okay, that's all you need to do. So, I mean, spend time and then do a lot of things with this. Build on top of that. Right, build on top of this. For instance, here, if you go to the users level, right, I say that. Um, let me go there and show you what I want to. Um, some of the things you can also do. Okay, you can. I mean, build this thing, customize it to your own um, needs. Okay, the way that you want. Make it a big project. Right. Okay, so for instance, I'm saying that if you load the person's resume and the person's resume is two pages or one, if the person's resume is one page, the person is a fresher. If the person's uh, resume is two pages, the person is likely to be intermediate. If the person's uh, resume pages is three, it's likely that the person is an experience. Now, that kind of log logic might not always work. Okay, it might not always work. It's possible that someone is experienced, but their resume is just one page. Okay, so that's part you need to also, I mean, think about different ways of doing it. Okay, instead of just going by this, you can think of a different way of um, doing it. Okay, you can even change the background, right? Go to here and then go to settings. Right, um, this one we are using light, but you can use the dark and see how it looks. Okay, so this is how it looks now, right? So if if you like it this way, I mean that's that's also fine, right? That's that's also fine. You can also use um, this, right? You can also use this one and then see how it goes, right? If you like it this way, okay. So I mean that's that's basically what I mean. Some of the things that you can do, right? So continuously build on top of it and make it a big project, all right? Um, it's possible that maybe you run into some error and others, but it's part of it, right? It's a specific project, so it's part of it. You need to just do a lot of search on Google and then um, fix the, those bugs because if you go to the industry, no one is going to do those things for you, right? You're also going to run into errors and you need to um, be able to figure those things, I mean, those things out by yourself, okay? So, I mean, get you, get used to it right now before you get to the industry. All right, so um, I hope you love this one, right? Um, don't forget to give it a good rating and also a good review and uh, post your questions at the Q&A session, which I'll be there to respond. All right, so see you in the next project. Have a nice day.